su camisa. Ah, viene ahorita el teacher. Sí, sí, Hi guys, good evening. Hello teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very fine. Good, a good time. Okay. How was your day? That was great. Thanks for asking. Excellent. Thank you. Now your camera is in good shape. I'm sorry. Your camera is in good shape now. Mm, yeah. Sometimes it gets crazy, but now it's working properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, right. Uh, do you remember what was yesterday's topic, actually? We were talking uh, using uh, will and going to. The use of going to plus will, correct? Right. So according to yesterday's explanation, when do we use going to? Going to when we are sure in uh, plans that we will future plan. We going to to do. Okay, so we use going to for plans we are hundred percent sure, correct? Hundred percent sure. Yes, and since I Carlos came late, he's going to explain us when do we use will and what are the options that we have. Hi, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> are you ready? Uh, yes. Uh, we use will uh, when it's a probably. Probability. Mm -hmm. Probability when you are not 100% uh, sure mm -hmm. to do something. What else? What other option do we have for will? Um, let me... Oh, Remember when I uh, I talk about the future weather mm -hmm. predictions, decisions taken at the moment. Oh, predictions, predictions, prediction possibilities, and possibilities. Okay. Possibilities. Thank you. Now, uh, let me go ahead and verify something real quick here. We're going to continue with this topic, but this time we're going to practice, okay? Okay, good. So, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. Once you can see the uh, PowerPoint presentation, just let me know. Thank okay. you, Florin. Just give me some seconds. Okay. Okay, can you see the computer? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, okay. It's almost. Almost on. Alrighty. Now, uh, in the meantime, let me ex let me share with you the structures that we have for going to and will or will and going to ready now okay it's ready now awesome now uh, can you see the computer screen the powerpoint presentation yes yes sure awesome. we can see it okay cool uh, we have the use of will Okay, and later we are going to verify the use of going to. All right, so for positive statements, you have first person, second person, and third person singular. 
And we also have first person plural, second person plural. I mean, third person plural. So you can say, I will stay or I'll stay. I'll is the contraction of will. Contraction. Okay, I will stay in your house to matter. You can say that to your girlfriend, all right? Or you can also say, he will stay at work all night long. All right? All right. So, no matter what subject pronouns you use with will, it doesn't change. With the negative form, you have the subject pronouns, and you can say, will not stay at home or won't stay at home, won't stay at work. So the contraction for will not is won't. Won't. Does it make sense? Yes. Be sure. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. We, is the same contraction when you use wouldn't. Sure. Wouldn't. Yes. Uh, would and wouldn't. Correct. For future. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can say, I would go to a different country or I wouldn't go out okay. on the next vacation. Mm -hmm. okay. Now we have also questions. With questions, if you see with affirmative and with negative, will goes next. But with the question mark, I mean, with the questions, will goes at the beginning of the sentence or at the beginning of the question. Why? Because will is an auxiliary. And don't yeah. forget to use a question mark. Okay, so if I ask you, Edwin, will you stay late at work tomorrow night? Um, sorry, repeat again, please. Will you stay late at work tomorrow night? Uh, yes. Yes, I will. Okay. Yes, I will. Or negative. No, I will not. No, I will. Or no, I won't. Okay. Um. If I ask you, let's see. If I ask you, Andrea, are you here? Yeah, I listen. Okay, if I ask you, will your sister stay at your house today after class? She will stay. Yes, she will, or no, she will not, or no, she won't. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay, those are the examples I have for you related to the positive statements, negative statements, Questions in short answers. Do you have any questions so far? Or no questions at all? No. No question. No questions? Easy, right? No. Easy, teacher. Great. Look easy. It's easy, actually. All right. Now. You also have here, let me move this part. Okay, you also have here the use of going to with going to with going to 
you have the next structure. Subject plus verb to be and miss R plus going to plus infinitive. Okay. So for example, look, with the first person you, these are the singular ones, correct? Mm -hmm. And these are the plural ones. With the first person, you're going to say I'm or I am. I'm not going to play soccer tonight. Okay? okay. With you, you say you are or you're going to see a movie after class. Okay? okay. With he, she and it, you use is. So he is going to do the homework. He is going to do the homework. With you, we and they, we use are. Okay? We are going to go to the park. We're going to go to the park. So with the question mark, I mean, with the question form or a structure, the auxiliary verbs goes at the beginning of the sentence. So those auxiliary verbs are going to be here. For example, Carlos is, look at this, is, your mother going to visit uh, your wife this coming vacation? Oh, I need to use a short answer or? Eh, yeah, yes, no questions. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, she, she's, she, She is. She is. Yes, she is. Yes, oh. she is. Okay. Right. So, question for Edwin. Are we going to play soccer tonight? Um, no. I. Are I'm... we? Uh, no, we are. No, we are. No. We, we aren't. Are. 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 Oh, no, we, no are. we are not. If it is positive, yes, we are. Yes, okay. we are. Yes, you are. Okay. So, talking about the going to part, do you have any questions? No questions. No questions at all? No. No questions. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Now, uh, let me go ahead and show you the platform as long as it loads. Pero la vamos a cargar nuevamente. Let me, let me stop sharing. Okay. So what we're going to do, guys, I'm going, I mean, I would like you to ask your classmates about the uh, WH words with going to. For example, I can say, Vicente, where are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to spend your next vacation? Okay, I was mute. Okay, um, I'm going with my family to visit um, Honduras. Okay, thank you. Select one of your classmates and ask a question, please. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Mm -hmm. When... 
uh, when you are going to have your vacation. What? <laughs> when <laughs> you... Uh -huh. so, repeat it, please. Okay. I don't know if it's correct, but it'll repeat. When uh -huh. you going to have your vacation? When you going... When oh. are you going to have your next okay. vacation? When are you going? Okay. Okay. When I'm... are you going to have your next vacation? I'm, or your vacation? I'm going to uh, France. Okay. No, but uh, I ask when. Oh, when, when? Uh huh. When? Uh, I'm going to vacation the next month. Ex Excellent. Okay. Carlos, select one of your classmates. Ask a question using WH word and going to. Okay. Edwin. Okay. Okay. Um, oh. Where are you going to play basketball the next weekend? Um, I'm going to play basketball um, um, um Monday. Okay. Next no. On Monday. Edwin, um, select one of your classmates. Okay, um, uh, Elizabeth Medrano. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, when do you go to the beach? What you're using the simple going. past. <laughs> you need to use going to. Going to. And when do you go to uh, uh, the beach? Mm, no, no tiene sentido. You need to use the R first of the pronoun, the subject. Okay, um, let, let's listen to Oscar. Oscar, ask the question to Elizabeth. Using WH word plus going to. Oh, well, thanks. Where are you going to um, to study um, to study English? I'm going to study English the next Friday. Well, thanks. Do you no say problem. when or where? When? 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 Ah, okay. When? Thank you. Elizabeth, select one of your classmates. Okay. Um, let me see. Vicente? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm here. When are you cooking for your mother? When are uh, you no, going When are you going? To... Excuse me. <laughs> when are you huh? going to cook for your mother? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to cook for my mother next weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Vicente, select one classmate. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Giovanni Josue. Giovanni Josue. Giovanni. Okay, select another person. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Sarai Trejos. Sarai Trejos. Yes, ask me. Okay. Why... 
Are you going to work tomorrow? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to work tomorrow because I need the money. Okay, good, money. excellent. <laughs> Sarai, excellent. select one classmate. Okay. Uh, Maria Jose Nahar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Maria. When are you going to eat healthy? Healthy. 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 Mm -hmm. When are you going to eat healthy? I am not going to eat healthy. So you're not going to eat healthy food. <laughs> okay. Uh, Maria, select one of your classmates. Okay. Um, Edgar. Edgar Mauricio. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do tomorrow in the night? At night. At night. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat the question, please? What are you What are you going to do tomorrow at night? Tomorrow. Well, I'm going to um, to receive a class tomorrow at night again. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see if the platform works already. Mm, okay. Let me share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. I think it's loading. Can you see it now or not yet? Not yet. No yet, sure. Now. Now we can yeah, see. ready. Okay, Vicente, read the instructions. The instruction. Okay, instruction. Read, read and listen to the following conversation and answer the question. Answer the questions. Okay. Question. Let's see if we can listen to the audio. And then we are going to answer the questions from one to five, I believe. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the next pages are related to the final like, exam. So pay attention because you need to complete it at the end in order for you to get the final grade, I, I reckon. Okay. Okay, I think it's loading. No sé por qué no se pueden eh, darle play directamente al audio, ¿verdad? Desde, hay que abrirle una página nueva. Desde aquí se tendría que darle uh -huh. play. Aquí directamente. Error, sino... error. Ajá. En alguna ocasión, ante esta situación, incluso ha correspondido descargar el audio a la máquina, ¿verdad? Ha eh, uh -huh. ocurrido porque no lo logro escuchar directamente. Uh, uh -huh. Sí, porque aquí tendría que darle play ya de un solo, ¿ves? sino que me tira a una página nueva y es como sí, volver a iniciar teacher, pero es la misma conversación que vimos en el video anterior sorry es la misma conversación que vimos en el video anterior de las chicas que iban a ir a la playa ah really I have, not, I have not heard it ok let's see if we can listen to Listen and practice. Are you able to listen to? Yes. I'm ready. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. 
I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? You mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Sorry, Carlos, uh, can you please complete the number one? It says, where are the girls going to stay? Uh, the number two, at, at a relative's beach house. Okay, at a relative's beach house. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let me select. Sandra, are you here? Sandra Elizabeth. Sarai, continue with the number two. Thank you. Yeah, uh, first option, she's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Okay. What plans does she have for the weekend? So she's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Uh, Giovanni, can you hear? Or Liz, what might Julia do with her cousin? A number go go fishing. Go fishing. Oscar, I'm booked for this weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm booked for this weekend. Uh, sorry, I don't listen very fine. The audio but i guess um, um i'm going to go camping okay we'll see uh, let's see edgar what would you say if you are unsure Edwin? Uh, I will leave oh, around. Sorry, with it. Edgar. Mm hmm. You are in um, I will leave around the end of June. Let's see the answer. Mm, no. It's maybe. Maybe. There I you go. Around the... mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Now let's move to the final test. The final test, guys, is going to be basically a mix of the topics that you have studied during this course. Remember that this coming Thursday is going to be our last class, okay? Okay. So let's go ahead and continue with the platform. Okay. Um, it says instructions, listen to the conversations and check the correct answers. Okay, let's try to complete this one. Okay. Y gran audio solo para cuatro preguntas más. <laughs> My God. Es lo triste. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so let's read the first one. It says, Jane likes her new apartment because, and then we're going to select the options. Sass wants to leave downtown because and we are going to also select the options. In Karen's apartment is, and we had the last one, Doug wishes his new apartment where? Okay. Eso es lo que no me gusta, los audios, que mucho tardan en cargarse. ¿Les pasa lo mismo o solo a mí me pasa? Uh, tenemos que claro. descargarlo. Bueno, yo lo, lo descargo, teacher. De un solo. Ah. Okay. Pues igual, tengo que descargarlo y después abrirlo. Y solo para responder dos, tres preguntas. Ok. <risa> We need to be patient. Sí, realmente ha sido poco los audios que he, en el caso particular he logrado escuchar en línea directamente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En los, nosotros me abre la pestaña emergente e incluso tengo que descargarlo desde la pestaña emer, emergente hacia la, hacia la máquina. Uh -huh. Ok. Y luego Está abrirlo bien. desde la ubicación para escuchar. Y responder las dos preguntas. Sí, la verdad que debería de ser de un solo. O sea, le das play y pum, te tendría que tirar el audio. Ok. We're almost there. Now, in the meantime, guys, I want you to be creator with the sentences and among yourself, I want you to ask questions using WH words plus going to. Oh, I think that we can now listen to the audio. There you go. Mm -mm. Units three to four quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean... It's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for? Okay. Uh, suddenly it has stopped. Okay, let's select the ones that we have. Vicente, select the number one, please. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's um, Jane likes option, option. Jane's likes her new apartment because it's cheaper than her old apartment. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, sure. Uh, 
Seth wants to live downtown because he works there. Thank you. Continue, Edwin. Edgar. It's a small current, current supermarket is too private. No. Small. Too small. small. Too small. Okay. Y esta la vamos a... It says, the wishes is in your apartment where? On the first floor. Vamos a... Al Team Marín. Oh, that was the right one. Got it. <laughs> Got okay. it. <laughs> good, Excellent. good. Thank you. Now, uh, let's move to the vocabulary. The vocabulary... Uh, Carlos, read it. The instructions. Okay, read each sentences and choose the best adjective. Number one, mm -hmm. I love my neighborhood. It's very safe. Thank you. Continue, please, Sandra. I live on I live. very books. On very books. Street income a little bit. I live and on a very busy street. I can get a little bit. Um, mother, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Sarai, what, what option will you choose? Uh, third option, species. Vicente. First one, noisy. Noisy, thank you. Okay. Si es una, un, un, una calle bastante bici, significa que hay bastante gente. Mm-hmm. Lot of Entonces, it can get a little bit noisy. Okay. Thank you. Oscar, number three. Uh, Oscar. Sorry, sorry. I have mute. Um, it's convenient to have parking space near my apartment convenient i'm sorry can you please repeat it well uh, it's convenient to have parking space near my apartment okay. it's convenient convenient convenient, convenient. convenient. Oh, convenient. thanks it's convenient to have parking spaces near, near my apartment. Uh, Sarai Trejos. Our house is smaller and very big. It has huge windows. Our house is modern and very bright. Um, right. It has huge windows. Okay, great. Excellent. Awesome. Huge. Now, let me go ahead and stop sharing. Huge. And what I want you to do is to, uh, let's see. Do you remember yesterday we were completing sentences uh, using going to plus will? So, for example, you can say, I'm going to go to the park on Saturday. On Saturday. Probably. I probably. 
I probably will eat a chicken, for example, at lunchtime. All right. So I want you to use those structures using going to and will. Okay. You can also say, I'm uh, going to swim in the pool. In the pool to matter morning. I guess my friends will join. Will join to my house. Okay. Uh, does it make sense? Okay. Um, so you can either say it or also type it if you wish. Okay. So you can also say, my sister is going to go to the cinema this coming Saturday, this coming Friday, okay? Maybe, Uh, by the way, it's raining so hard in the city where I live. In my city, not yet. Not yet. Okay, this coming Friday, maybe my mom will go with her. Okay. So those are my examples, but I want you to give me your example. Yes, Vicente. Okay. Um, I'm going to work tomorrow and, and it probably I will work until night. Okay. Thank you. I probably okay. will work until nine or late at night. Is that what you mean? Okay. Teacher, can I say my eh, example? Yeah, pero Vicente, yeah. Eh, hasta yeah. las nueve, late at night. Uh -huh. Late at night is, is at, <laughs> no. Yo creo night. que solo es, ah, ok, ok. Got at it. night. At Maybe night. <laughs> at night. At night, ok. At night. Yes. Eh, Edgar, go ahead. Yeah, I want to try if that's correct. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go to my bed in one hour later, and I probably will not to sleep well. Okay. I, prob I probably won't sleep well. Okay. Thank okay. you. Carlos, yours? And then Maria. Okay, teacher. Um... I'm going to learn the lesson today. Mm -hmm. I probably, I will respond the answers in the exam completely. Okay. Yes. Uh, Maria? Okay. I'm going to go to the hospital tomorrow because I have the flu. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I'll stay in my bed all day. Thank you. Uh, Evelyn. Uh, 
I'm going to work tomorrow. Uh, maybe I will sleep at my branch. I will sleep where? Uh, in my lunch. Ah, okay, during my lunch. All right, thank you. Oscar. I'm going to listen mu to listen music for a few minutes in the PC after the class. I guess I will find my favorite music. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth de Medrano and then Vicente. Okay. Okay. I'm going to study a lot tomorrow at night. Then mm -hmm. I probably uh, to be able to learn well. And I will go. I will go to practice with my cousins. Cousin. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you, Sarai. Yours. Okay. My brother is going to go to school tomorrow. Probably mm -hmm. he will prepare their breakfast by himself. His breakfast. His breakfast. by himself. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you. Uh, Luis Ernesto. Okay. I am going to eat hamburger tomorrow, but it's probable I will eat tacos. Uh, okay. Probably I will eat tacos. Vicente? Yes, teacher. Um... Other example, I'm going to visit my family next weekend and mm -hmm. probably probably we will make a barbecue. Oh, delicious. Invite us. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra? And then Edwin. Okay. Uh, I am going to the stadium on Sunday. Um, probably we win El Salvador 3 to 0 at Trinidad de Tobago. I'm sorry, there is raining outside. Can you please repeat it? I am going to the stadium on Sunday. And probably will win El Salvador 3 0 to Trinidad de Tobago. Okay. Probably El Salvador soccer team will win. Yes. Will win. Against Trinidad y Tobago. That yes. will be the right sentence. Okay. Uh, Vicente, do you have another one? Um, I'm, I'm not yet. I will try. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to be on duty next Thursday mm -hmm. and probably I will be as a listener in class okay thank you now okay. what we're going to do we're going to answer using the same examples you have been giving me but this time you are going to use WH words. For example, what a student A is going to ask, what are you going to do? What are you going to do after class? Okay. So that's the question from a student A. A student B is going to answer I'm going to cook my dinner, okay? So, I probably will eat eggs and beans, okay? Does it make sense? Yes. A student A is going to ask a WH word with going to. A student B is going to answer uh, using going to first 
and then using will. I'm going to cook my dinner. I probably will eat eggs and beans. Olvide el eat al final. Eat. Scramble sí. egg. Yes. I'm going to rewrite it. I'm, I'm going to... What are you going to? I'm going to... Cook my dinner. I probably will eat eggs. With beans. Okay. Eggs and beans. Okay. Thank you. Now, okay. uh, let's see. Student A, Vicente. Student yes, B, yes. Sarai. <laughs> okay. My question, um, what are you going to do next weekend? I'm going to stay at home. Mm -hmm. And Will? Ah. Sorry. Tiene que usar el, el going to y Will también. Ah, okay. I'm going to stay at home. I will probably watch a movie. Okay. Okay. Probably I will watch a movie. Okay. Now, uh, Sarai, student A, Carlos B. Okay. What are you going to do on Independence Day? Vaya, pero lo que quiero es que hagan uso de eh, los WH words. Tenemos why, when, where, who, whose, ok. Ok. Which. Hagan uso Uy. de todos esos. Ok, one more time, Sarai. What are you going to do on Independence Day? What? Yes, what? Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to celebrate the Independence Independence Day. Um, probably I will see the dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Student, Carlos, student you, <laughs> you are A, uh, Edgar B. Remember okay. that you can use I guess, I reckon, probably, maybe, I believe. Okay. Where are you going to the next weekend? Where are you what? Where are you going to? Where are you going to go? To go the next weekend. I'm going to work um, uh, at the company. And probably I will work just in the morning. Thank you. Great job. Edgar A. Elizabeth B. And why are you going to finish the, the course of English? The what? The English course. The English course. Why are you going to finish the English course? Why? I don't yeah. know. Repeat, repeat the slowly. Why? Yeah. Why are you going to finish the English course of English? Okay, uh, I'm going to to finish my, uh, the English course because it's necessary to my work, and I will to get a uh, a better position. I will get a better position. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Elizabeth, A, yeah. and Edwin B. Okay. 
what are you going to use for your graduation? To use in the graduation party. Where? What are you going to wear? Wear. To wear. Oh, wear. Okay. Uh -huh. To wear. Uh huh. Training is coming. You are mute, Edwin. Um, I am going to um to Panama before um graduating. Mm, no. What she's asking is, what are you going to wear on your graduation ceremony? Uh, A new cloth. A new suit. <laughs> A new hat. What are you going to wear? Are you going to wear glasses? Are you going to wear, uh, I don't know, a new suit? New tennis. Uh, new sometimes. Shirt. Sometimes people go go with tennis. Yeah. To the formal yeah. uh, parties or I don't know, wedding. They don't wear tie. Yeah, uh -huh, they don't wear ties. Okay, Edwin. <clears throat> right now is coming. Or you can ask Oscar. Uh, Elizabeth, ask the question to Oscar. The same question or another one? The same question. Okay. Uh, what are you going to wear for Whoa. Vicente's party? <laughs> what? For what? Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, My can you please repeat? <laughs> My barbecue you... or what? <laughs> yeah, you have to invite him. Ah, what, what are you going to wear? At Vicente's party. Barbecue. Vicente's barbecue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you going to wear? Are you going to wear sandals, shorts, casual clothes? Oh, casual. oh well, uh, now I understand. Sunglasses. Uh, I'm going to to wear um, um, short. Uh, um, then, uh, I hope uh, I will... Um, enjoy the the barbecue, the food. Okay, <laughs> the food. Of course, you will. All right, you the will eat a lot. Thank you. Warrant. Okay, <laughs> Oscar A and Maria Jose B. Uh, Maria Jose, uh, what are you going to to do uh, on this? on this um, Independence Day? I'm going to just uh, stay home. Um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll visit to my grandmother. Visit my grandmother, okay. Wow. Uh, Maria Jose A and Sandra B. Okay. When are you going to visit your parents? When are you going to visit your parents? Sandra? Okay, answer the same question, Carlos. When are you going to visit your parents? I'm going to visit my my parents the next weekend. Uh huh. Uh, probably I will see. Um, I will see my my cousin or my brother. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Si se fijan. Poco a poco fue como que fuimos armando el rompecabezas, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, al, a, pero si, si no se les explica cómo usar el will y el going to, 
se confunde. La combinación. Ahora, correcto. Ahora que ya saben, ya hemos estado trabajando con A y B. Estu student A, Student B. Uno uh -huh. pregunta, el otro responde usando las dos combinaciones. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de dejarlos ir. ¿O todo claro? Todo oh, claro. Pues. Everything fine. Hoy sí, les le veo las caras más, más alegres. Ayer les veía una, un gran signo de interrogación. No, y yo dije, la, compa la compañera ni la veía, ma, estaba escondida. ¿Para qué se escondía? Para que no le preguntara. Cuidado, cuidado con los espejos. Oli, oli, sí. Sí, sí. Oli saw the, the mirror. Solo por el espejo yo, la vimos. Yo veía que Carlos solo le hacía así. Por el espejo. Atorraba la cara. <risa> es que lo que pasa es que muchas veces no lo expli no dan como mayor explicación, ¿verdad? Del de, de uso ¿Cómo, de las estructuras, cómo cabal, sí. cómo usarlo. Y, es que... y a veces una, una, una pequeña um... ayuda. No, eh, una pequeña historia que quiero contarles. En la universidad me pasó okay. lo mismo que Carlos. Y fíjense que cuando ya iba en, eso me lo explicaron en básico, y cuando iba en intermedio, me cambiaron el chip de la realidad. Y yo decía, no, pero no es así, a mí me lo enseñaron de esta forma. Y hubo un pequeño conflicto entre, entre, entre los alumnos, que quién tenía la verdad. Al final tuvimos que investigar por nuestra propia cuenta y nos dimos cuenta que estábamos equivocados. Pero qué bien que hoy sí ya les quedó claro. Me puedo ir tranquilo y dormir en paz. No les quito más de su tiempo. Feliz noche, buen provecho, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Have a nice night. night. Enjoy the rain. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.